I conquered the internet for sperm. That I became like, if you hashtag sperm, my face is everywhere. Why? Is, so, this, is, is, is this going down like a, dub, a triple X thing? Because I'm not... I'm... No, 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 it wasn't rude. It was the non-rude, the unrudest thing in the world that was shocking for people, but what is it? was really normal for me. So I have rosacea, which is like sensitive skin. I've got so many food intolerances, like right. gluten, dairy, mm. and I have like really hot, sensitive skin. Right. And I went to have a facial and they said, you can't do this, you'll irritate your sensitive skin. Have you put egg on your face before? Because like egg whites draw out the heat, like when you're really like chafing. Um, I'm not liking this. You can get like dry, hot skin, basically. Right. And I said, oh no, I don't eat egg. I'm vegan. I don't put egg whites on my face. I, that's really creepy. Right. And they said, have you heard of Heather Locklear, who is 90210? 90210, I know Heather Locklear, yeah. right? She says about putting sperm on your face. Oh, it's really good. Face. No, Cancel it's really good show, for you. The then I'm thinking back to myself. Yeah, you know when it like hits you in the face? No, it, I don't, <laughs> funnily enough. You've never had a misfire? What the Have you not fuck, had a misfire? Bro. Or got something on your hand? Chase. Or your arm or your ear or something? It makes your skin no. so soft. She said, at that time, Heather Locklear I'm, 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 I'm like talks, for, for out the studio, you know, she spoke on the red carpet right. that sperm was really good for her skin. So you do that shit? She told me to try it. Who Heather did? No, the laser clinic right. in London, right. top skin specialist said, right. off the record, put sperm on your face and tell me what it's like. So then and that's I what, did. And that's what you did? Yeah. You did what? And you just leave it's it there? I heard a perfect. fucking cucumber just, in the eye. It club, sucks in. Some next shit. Like, imagine no, pouring a bottle of Evian into a desert. It's gone. And then you just wash it off afterwards? No, just left it. It sucked right in. It what? was lovely. You don't wash your face afterwards? There's a little bit crispy You're and stiff. Me. But I left uh, it to soak. What about, bro? Like a baby soft skin. All the heat. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And you do that? Yeah. Because I, I, you can waste it, not. you can waste it, or you can make the most of it. It's free. You know, Garnier, Olivier, olive oil, <laughs> you know, whatever these things are. All these face creams, free dispensary. Mm. Amazing. Um, if you knew that you could have something for free that was um, incredible, no side how effects. How often does this happen? As often as I've you can. As often as you can. Open the door, innit? As often as you can. Don't waste it, use it, and utilize. If you and does it, oh, I'm mm. bothered, man. No, go, go. No, if you can't get none, what do you do? Like, is, is ask there, my like, friend. When I was single, I asked my friend. And that's what people were offended by. Fuck that off. I asked my friend. And they said, isn't that weird? I was like, no. I, I had a, I'd had a curry takeaway. I had those little sauce pots. Like, and then I just washed them up and think I can put some food in there. Gave it to him. Okay. Do you still do this? Yeah. You're lying. I don't waste. Why would you waste something that's you know good for you? Like, why would you not use a moisturiser or sun cream? Or why would you not cut your hair? Or why would you okay, not... Okay, so you went like... Put a lip balm. So then that went out in the world, basically. And you got, you got a front so cover. Offended. And was your face on the front cover? Yeah. With... On my face. Fuck off. Mm. And they didn't understand it's not a sexual thing. It's for the benefits of but yeah, being but you natural. Can, it's a bit weird, isn't it? No, because he was it's my friend. Normal. I've never slept with him. But it's, 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 I don't, it's not normal, innit? I can't make sperm. It's not It's not unnormal. How many relationships come in contact with sperm? We wouldn't be born bed, without babe, sperm. Yeah, on the pillow. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so think... How do you sleep? Do you just turn out that then? Because you can't fucking turn left or right, brother. <laughs> Imagine you're sleeping next to someone and they're like, oh, they put their face on you. Bro! It doesn't have to be Man. sexual. I'm not saying that. I'm it's saying if it was on your face and you rolled yeah. over and it... And it oh, you might stick to your pillow. Bro, you might brother. stick. Yeah. yeah. But women breastfeed. It's full of nutrients. It gives you your immune system and support. Men, that is breastfeeding. But through balls, not boobs. Balls feeding. Balls feeding. Yeah. Why waste it if you know how girl, good you know, it is? I swear down, can't handle it, but Pandora's box is like... It doesn't have to be creepy, it can just be scientific. But it is weird though, can you not see that? I don't find it weird, because it's not weird for me, but I found out the hard way that people find that weird. It's a serial show.